Hey guys, it is Mike I'm making another video because I'm like a million behind. Uh, yeah, to vacation. I just totally gave up on everything. I just was like, yeah, you know, I do, I don't know, just needed a break. So um, I was tagged in a video by uh, my friend Eric over at the last Venom 76. Um, he was tagged to do a video on favorites of various action franchises, um, so he tagged me. Now, I will admit that there are some on this list. It's a big list. Um, there are some on this list that I've never watched um, or maybe only saw one. Uh, I am not a Tom Cruise fan, so if he's connected to anything, I probably haven't seen it, except back when he was young. Um, where he got all Scientology. Um, so, yeah, I don't watch him. Uh, and not a big fan of Bruce Willis. Uh, I do like the Die Hard movies, but that wasn't one on the list, which kind of surprised me. Or was it? It might have been. I don't know. This list is like crazy. <laughs> um, but there are some that I, you know, some of the stuff that I haven't seen, and then there are some that I've only seen a couple. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the first movie uh, franchise was Predator. Um, I liked pretty much all of them basically equally, but I am going to give Predator 1 the um, the favorite because I do like the actors that are in it. Uh, it was new and creative at the time. Uh, you know, we had aliens, that an alien that had been out, but Predator was completely different. I mean, yeah, he was an alien, but this dude was different than you know anything else so I rem I actually remember seeing this movie my friend was a manager of a movie theater in this town where I was going to college and uh, he let us come in and watch it for free and he you know he didn't um, yeah that was that was a fun movie um, as far as the Kingsman franchise I really have only seen the Golden Circle um, it, it it was okay, uh, just not necessarily my cup of tea. And the same with Transporter. Um, I, I actually saw one, two, and three, uh, and I kind of like three the best. I thought it it was just I don't know. It just kept my interest uh, longer than the other two. Um, El Mar El Mariachi. Uh, I like Desperado. I thought Antonio Banderas was really good in Desperado. Um, the other two were good too. Um, I have all three of them in my collection. If that says anything, uh, you know me. If I don't like it, I don't have it. So, um, missing missing in action. Not a Chuck Norris person at all. <laughs> uh, maybe back in the day. Um, when he first started a thousand years ago. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Um, James Bond. I'm going to have to, you know, it was really hard for me to pick because I like all of the James Bonds um, as far as the guys who played them. Uh, of course, you know, it, it's really hard for me to pick. But the one, the t I, I narrowed it down to two. Uh, the first one being For Your Eyes Only, and then um, Tomorrow Never Dies with Pierce Brosnan. Uh, there are some of the current ones that are okay, and there are some of the older ones. I mean, I like Octopussy. I like quite a few of the ones um, that were out there that have been made, uh, and I do watch them. So, But For Your Eyes Only, probably because of the theme song. Uh, not really. Um, I love the theme song. I love Sheena Easton, but uh, I like that movie. I thought the the Bond girl was fun, and the same with Tomorrow Never Dies with Terry Hatcher. I know a lot of people don't like her, but I always thought she was kind of fun. All right, as far as the Mad Max movies, I liked them all. Um, unfortunately, I'm not a big Mel Gibson fan anymore. He kind of ruined everything with his ignorance, but... As far as Bad Max, I loved the first one. It was crazy. Um, I had never seen anything like that, but I love Beyond Thunderdome. Uh, I just thought that was the coolest um, movie, but I do like them. Rush Hour. Mm, it was hard for me to pick, but I, I just am going to go with number one. Uh, they're all entertaining um, you know, characters. 
Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, I only saw one and two. I don't. Is there? I think there's a third one. I loved one. Um, I thought Eddie Murphy was a mess. He cracked me up. Um, and I pretty much liked Eddie Murphy a lot for a while. Uh, he hasn't made anything, you know, for a while that has, you know, rocked my world. But um, he was really good uh, in in all of the Beverly Hills Cops. I know I saw one and two. Um, I, th I own one, so I'm going to give it to one for that reason because I don't own any of the others. Uh, Escape Plan. That was another one. I'm just going to go with Hades. That was the second one. I thought it was relatively good. Some of the other ones, hmm, or one or one and three, were they were okay. But um, Indiana Jones, I got to go with Temple of Doom. I, I just love that movie. It was, it, it's still one that just um, stays with me. Uh, some of the scenes and, and the hilarity in it. Uh, RoboCop is definitely number one for me. I, I didn't care for the remake. Um, two and three were, they were all right, but it was never the same um, as that first one. That first one was just, you know, the scene where the robot goes crazy up in the office and he kills that guy, that scene got to me. I mean, almost to the point to where I was like, why, why would you kill an innocent person? Um, but also, um, his name just went out of my head. Nancy Allen and the lead guy. I love those two. Um, oh, come on. What's his name? But anywho, I loved him uh, in the movie. Uh, and his, you know, when they're shooting him up and they blow his hands off. Ugh, horrible. But that was a fun movie. RoboCop 1, definitely. As far as the death race, you know, it's kind of funny. Um, the new ones are okay, I guess, uh, but I really loved the old one, uh, Death Race 2000. It was out in the, I want to say the 70s, old, uh, with David Carradine, and yeah, I loved that movie. That was really, I remember being a little boy and watching that on TV with my sister, Gail, um, and then just really like watching it every time it came on. Um, although the newest, the... The first one that they made, this in the, I can't even remember the date, 2006 or seven, something like that. But that was pretty good too. I, I thought it was okay. Or maybe it was 2012. I can't remember the dates. Uh, Planet of the Apes, or I'm sorry, uh, the next franchise is Red. I haven't watched any of those. Sorry. Isn't that, is that Bruce Willis? It might have been Bruce Willis. Normally, if Bruce Willis or Tom Cruise or Mel Gibson are associated with something, I, I don't watch it. Um, yeah. But, I mean, there are some, like, The Sixth Sense. There are some things that Bruce Willis did, the Die Hards, that I liked. Um, and same with Mel Gibson. He, you know, he did stuff that I liked until he got all weird and... All right, uh, so let's go to the Planet of the Apes. I like the originals. Uh, the, the new ones are good. Uh, you know, of course, they do a whole lot more in these new ones. I, I really think War of the um, Battle for the Planet of the Apes, I really like that one. But I like the original one with Charlton Heston and, you know, yeah, that was, um, yeah. I, I just remember watching those all the time when I was younger. All right, Superman. I love the original. Superman's back with um, Christopher Reeve. I think three, three or four. One of there was one of them that was just a little wonky. Um, but I'm from Illinois, and Metropolis is in Illinois. Um, and they actually have, if you ever want to go see a Superman museum that's out of this world, it's in Metropolis, Illinois. Uh, that's in Southern Illinois. Um, so yeah, I love. I pretty much love all Supermans. Um, I love the one with Brandon Roth in it. Uh, they gave him so much crap for that, but I thought it was really good. I thought he was really good. He, you know, he was totally new, um, as good looking, about as good looking as Christopher Reeve. So he was believable as Superman. But yeah, I like the the OG. Uh, Fast and the Furious. I, I like a lot of those. Um, it's hard for me to pick. I am not a huge Dwayne Johnson fan. So, 
as his character kind of developed, I was kind of, I don't, uh, don't watch him as much, but I really love that first one. And actually the fact that they kept it going, um, after Paul died, Paul Walker, Paul Walker, Paul Walker died, um, that's, that says a lot, uh, about the longevity of this particular franchise. Um, so it's kind of hard to pick a favorite. Uh, any, any of them with Paul Walker would probably be high on my list. Um, those with a lot of Dwayne Johnson, probably not so high on my list. All right, I'm trying to talk louder because for some reason I can never hear anybody when they do their videos. So if I'm not speaking, if you can't hear me, let me know. All right, Lethal Weapon. It has to be Lethal Weapon 2 for me. I loved one. Uh, I saw that in the theater probably four times. Um, I thought Mel Gibson was perfect as the crazy person, and little did we know that he really is. Um, but yeah, he was he was intense and wild. Um, part two I liked a lot because of that crazy Joe Pesci character came on uh, that in part two, and he really did add to the cast. Um, I like the cast, of course. Danny Glover is awesome. Uh, but yeah, Lethal Weapon 2 for me. Rocky. Okay. Watched all of the Rockies all the way through Creed 2. Like them all. Um, 3 and 4 are hard for me to pick from. Um, I probably watched them equally. Uh, I love Mr. T in Part 3. And um, I love Dolph Lundgren in Part 4. I think they're perfect uh, antagonists. Um scenes were awesome and Dolph Lundgren was just so damn intimidating uh, you know Mr. T was too but um, yeah I, you know it's between three and four and I'd probably lean more towards four uh, because of that of course part one is just so inspirational and you get the famous line Adrian! Um, and, and him running up those stairs and pumping his fists and you know that a lot of uh, iconic moments from that iconic movie. Of course, that was also the first movie that we realized that Sylvester Stallone really can't speak English in normal terms. He pretty much... <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I like him. All right, Expendables? None. I haven't seen any of them. Um, yeah, no. Um, Transformers? I like the first one okay. Um, I like the characters, you know, I like um, LaBeouf, Shy LaBeouf, and uh, who's the girl that, uh, Megan, whatever, right? She was in the first one, and then our first one or two, and they got fired because she got Molly. Um, but yeah, uh, I really, I really can only remember the first one because the others were not that memorable. But I think I liked that first one because it was actually the first time they attempted to do a movie from a cartoon like this that was this extensive. Because think about it, that cartoon, you can do anything with a cartoon. But to make it look real, which they kind of did, um, yeah, that's hard. And it's, you know, it's hard to make a movie out of something like that. So I thought that was a pretty good effort. Um, not the best movies in the world, though, needless to say. Uh, Men in Black, I cannot stand Will Smith. Um, even back with the um, Hank, what was the TV show he was in? Fresh Prince from Bel Air. I don't know. He just always annoyed me. I, and that's, I don't know why. I, I did like him in the Whoopi Goldberg, Ted Danson movie. Um, it's Made in America or something. I don't know. I have it. I just can't remember the name of it. But overall, he annoys me. But I went and saw one because I love Tommy Lee Jones. Um, and I did see a couple of the others, bits and pieces, mainly to see the pug. Uh, but yeah, not a big fan. Hellboy, not a big fan of those. I did see the first one. Um, I thought the remake was a mess. Uh, Mission Impossible, zip. Goo goo Tom Cruise, nope. Um, Iron Man, I liked them all enough. I don't own any of them, but I love Robert Downey Jr., so I usually give his movies a chance. Um, so if I had to pick, it would probably be part two, because part two was a little lighter. Um, I, part one I thought was a little dark. and 
Or no, no, no. Is that right? I thought part two was a little... I don't know. It was just fun for me. The first one and the, the third one were good, too, but I really like part two. As far as the Avengers, I, I, I haven't gotten into that at all. Um, I guess I'm not nerdy enough. I don't know. You know, they talked about it all the time on Big Bang Theory, which I love, which is nerdy, but I just never got into that whole little universe there. I'm more into horror than I am to, into action, so... Uh, the Lord of the Rings, God, I read every one of those books. Um, so when they came out with the movies, I was very impressed with each one of them. But I'm going to have to go with The Return of the King. Um, I just thought they were all good in that one. I mean, they were all good in every one of them. Uh, every actor, uh, Elijah Wood, um, the main blonde dude. Um, yeah, I, I just thought it was a they were all good. Uh, but I do um, I do pop in Return of the King from time to time. Uh, and on a side note, those were real big movies. Uh, my friend Carolyn, who passed away uh, a couple years ago at Christmas, um, she was my best friend from middle school to the day she died. Um, she loved anything Lord of the Rings. So, so those movies hold a little bit of a special place in my heart. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles... Uh, I like the second one best. That was that was a little funner. They didn't use weapons. They just had you know they just used their hands. Um, it got a lot of flack because it wasn't as dark as that first one. But you want to know something? That's okay. I kind of enjoyed that second one better than the first one. Um, <coughs> Rambo. I'm gonna go for the first one. Um, I really thought Richard Crenna was good in this, and Martin Cove. I like both of those actors. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, but Rainbow Oak, yeah, it's sort of like, okay, we've done this twice. Can we just stop now? Um, but, you know, pretty soon it's going to be Rambo with a colostomy bag. Um, but, yeah... I'd have to go for two. I liked one okay. Once again, the whole, I'm an English teacher. Um, I taught English for 21 years. It just kills me. <laughs> Yo. Um, anywho. And then Terminator, I loved one and two. Uh, the others were okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, but two is my favorite. Because I thought Edward Furlong was awesome. I thought Linda was awesome. I thought Arnie was awesome. Um, and I love the concept of there being this liquid Terminator that you really couldn't destroy unless you melted him. Um, and of course that, that scene at the end with Arnold and his thumbs up, ugh, just tore me up. But, okay, so that is the list. Now, I don't know any YouTubers, any of my particular friends that like action movies, but I'm going to tag Jen over at Jen's Horror from the Grave. Um, I will put this list in my comments below, because I'd like to hear, I'm sure you and Christian watch a couple action movies. Um, maybe Evil Stevel? Maybe you can check this list and see if there are any. Uh, you don't have to probably list every single one. If you, if you don't watch them, just say I don't watch them. Um, who else? I can't think. Uh, my brain's dead. I hate when that happens. Um, maybe The Horror Freak, 85? Steve, you watch movies? Action movies? Go ahead and do that if, if you want to. Nobody has to. I'm just trying to tag people. Because I get excited when I get tagged. I, I, I love doing this sort of stuff. So that's what I got on here for, was to talk about movies. So. Okay, um, and let me try one more, let's say, um, I can't think. Okay, so I'm brain dead, I'm just going to go with those three. Alright guys, that is my response to Eric at the Last Venom. Thanks, talk to you later. Bye.